Morning everyone, it's John, prop trader here on my news desk and trading desk. Please like and share. Today is Wednesday, August 7, 2024. Thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it. A lot of exciting news today. Let's look at the geopolitical news first. What's happening on the geopolitical news? Uh, NPR, National Public Radio. Uh, who is Tim Walt? What to know about Harris VP pick and the new Hamas leader. Uh, CNN is reporting squad member Cori Bush loses Democratic Party in Missouri. Magnitude 5.2 earthquake strikes Kern County with shaking felt throughout. Uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. NBC News is reporting Tropical Storm Debbie churns over the Atlantic before making second landfall. And BBC is reporting, sadly, that a German hotel collapses, uh, trapping others under the rubble. And so we'll pray for that situation. So that's geopolitical. Now, socioeconomic bar chart today is reporting. Looks like S&P's up one spot, two, two percent. Crude oil's up almost two percent. VIX is off 16 percent. Gold is pumping up 10 about ten dollars to twenty four forty two per ounce to the USD. S and P futures climb as risk set sentiment improves. Disney earnings on tap. Yeah, er, Disney's. I don't know. Wall Street heads for second straight day of solid gains and whips all week. CVS cuts its uh, twenty twenty four forecast a third time, dragged down by health insurance struggles. It says Disney returns to profit in third quarter as streaming business starts making money for the first time. Streaming business is tough. Netflix, etc. Talking about AI stocks and Napa stock hits 52-week low. You know, nobody's purchasing alcohol. Down 10% from its all-time high. Gold dividend stocks are looking good. The best time to purchase gold stocks, not investment advice, I found. Uh, is between July 20th and September 10th. So this is the gold stock purchasing season. And so that's what we got. S&P futures up 75 points. NASDAQ's up 330 points. (coughs) Dow futures are up 250 points. The VIX off 3.8 points. U.S. dollar at 102 spot 98. The 10-year at 113-005. Crude oil's up. Nat gas looks oversold to me technically, not financial advice. And I think that's all we have there. Market leaders, NVIDIA is up 3%. Apple computers up 1%. Super micro computers off 14%. Tesla's up one and a quarter percent. Advanced micro devices up 3%. Disney off nearly 3%. Lumen Technologies up 40%. We've got a new story there. Dash, DoorDash is up one and a quarter percent. Taiwan Semiconductor is up 4% and Airbnb is off nearly 15% today. So let's look at the new stories on Loom, Lumen Technology. So we'll cover that in a moment. So Stocks rallied for a second day reported on Yahoo Finance. Stocks were up across the board in early trading on Wall Street. Looked to continue rebound for the after the brutal sell-off. Super micro computer, you know, news. Disney streaming unit turns first profit while park business lags. Uh, Disney again off 3%. Why is the yen shaking up the U.S. stock market? The yen's lost so much of its uh, purchasing power, certainly versus Bitcoin. And uh, Tesla Permable is still buying a Rivian. Rivian's off. R-I-V-N. Tesla's off a half percent. U.S. mortgage rates plunge in biggest drop in two years. Rivian stock slides after mixed results and modest outlook. Intel loses Wall Street patience amid growing headwinds. And super microcomputer weak profit fuels AI server margin worries. So that's what we got. Now, the latest news 
um, day passes. People aren't spending money to go on vacation, so they'll take a day pass at hotels and resorts that offer downtime, relaxation on the cheap. It says here, Baltimore power bills jump 11% next year as costs soaring. Wow. Wix, Wix is up. Uh, Q2 estimates, strength, strong sales. Equity res residential to buy apartment portfolio from Blackstone for nearly $1 billion. EQR is a symbol there. So that's El Salvador's debt soars. As IMF says, progress made toward deal. So these are the socioeconomic news, but man, let's see what Zero Hedge reporting. Bank of Japan blinked, it says here on Zero Hedge, second day of new rally attempt, Bank of Japan. Uh, why it says here, the, the writing on the waltz, uh, the two, the party who hates old white men picked an old white man, okay? Can't throw the race card, it's not politically correct. Are the lows in the Bank of Japan? It says here, talking about, you know, Japanese stock market, um, crazed authoritarians demand X be shut down in the United Kingdom. So there's potential sub civil war litigation going on in the United Kingdom. You know, plus we got the movie Civil War uh, being produced and published now. So Civil War. Mm. So this is what we have there. Airbnb shares plunge on slowing U.S. demand as consumer downturn worsens. The consumer is not spending. They're going on day passes for vacation rather than going uh, renting an Airbnb. So that's kind of playing out. Netflix, news on Netflix. Um, so future soar yields on yields and oil jump after Bank of Japan capitulation. Nukes yen restarts carry trade. So big news stories going on with Japan. The yen plunges, the Nikkei soars after Bank of Japan will not raise rates when markets are unstable. So we got a currency war going on there with the Nikkei 225. So weathering the storm, experts weighing in on recession preparation. The assets that I like uh, during economic recession is uh, pure silver bullion, gold bullion and Bitcoin. I just got my second order in that I made this month for uh, precious metals. Look at this, got a whole stack, big boy stack here from uh, SD Bullion. They did real well. So I'm starting to stack up huge amounts of silver bullion. You can see this. These are all American Eagles. Plus I got a maple leaf. Maple leaves are doing great too. So that's how I roll. I have a lot of silver bullion. And then gold bullion also too. Every every um, couple times a month I'm placing orders how to purchase silver bullion. You can see the link down below. So American Eagles, these things are uh, going to do great during the economic recession. So that's uh, you know, not financial advice, but you can check out the links down below. I was very impressed with SD Bullion. They did very well by me with my second order this month, or actually going since uh, July. So this is what we have on, on that news there. So let's look at, so I purchased Bitcoin yesterday, bought the dip, you know, I do a dollar cost average every day. Purchased Bitcoin at 57000 approximately yesterday. It's trading at just about 57000 uh, 688 the high today. And then the day before, I purchased Bitcoin at as low as 54752 That was on August 5th. So I'll just dollar cost average. And then, let's see, on... August 4th, I purchased Bitcoin as high as 59293 So now that we have the dip, you know, I'll just continue to dollar cost average Bitcoin. My position in my 
a momentum swing account on Bitcoin is off about, about 11%. So eventually that'll rally back through the volatility. I got Tezos, Dogecoin, and ETH. ETH is off about 3% today. My ETH position is off in my momentum swing account approximately 30%. So ETH is now uh, changing wallets at around 25, about as high today is about 2,500. So I'll dollar cost average some ETH today. S&P 500 breaking out today, huge volatility. My SPY ETF, again, not financial advice, but SPY position is off 4%. My average cost basis is there is 552 spot 58. And I purchased uh, yesterday on my dollar cost averaging on SPY ETF at 527 spot 98. So now it's at 530 spot 39. So eventually, you know, we're getting a lot of volatility. We had a huge market correction and I had been on stock market correction mode for the last several months. And then we finally had a decent correction. So are we going to get the follow through? You know, is this 1929? Uh, we get the rally back and then increase volatility. So that's what we have. Uh, BKCH, my blockchain ETFs. You know, I dollar cost averaged uh, both uh, the ETFs on the blockchain yesterday. I'll do that today, every day, dollar cost average. So yesterday I purchased BKCH, the blockchain ETF, at 42 spot 64. And now it's uh, trading at 42 spot 72 up fractionally. And then block, B-L-O-K, I purchased it yesterday on a dollar cost average on, let's see, let's see, at 32 spot 88, it's at $33 spot 05. So, you know, I'll continue to dollar cost average Bitcoin and Ethereum, Bitcoin every day, and then dollar cost average the uh, uh, cryptocurrency blockchain uh, ETFs for a recurring investment. So that's my trading plan for the day. Check out the links below. You can read all my ebooks for free. Thanks for joining me. Had an awesome day here on my trading desk and uh, be doing a bunch of research reports uh, on geopolitical and socioeconomic. They're starting to get a lot of traction. So I'm just kind of looking at the market today, what my trading plan is going to be. I bought the breakout on the S&P 500 this morning, SPY, at, I like that price action to chase higher highs. So I purchased the breakout at, on SPY ETF at 529 spot 94. And now it's 531 spot 38. So that's, that's doing well. So let's see if we get the follow through and the rally back in the stock market. We could have increased volatility and in looking at, you know, stock markets, uh, in 1929, you always have the big dip, like the Babson break, and then it rallies back and then plunges 90%. I mean, we saw a dot-com bubble. The NASDAQ lost, what, 80% retracement in 2000? So we could have that again, but it still survived it and then rallied back to higher highs eventually where the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, they're saying that stocks are trading at 50% premium to GDP. So they're overpurchased. Then looking at that long bond, the inverted yield curve, TMF, the Direction Daily 20, like the long bond ETF here, it's leveraged. It's off about 2%. It's the daily, Direction Daily 20 plus year Treasury Bull 3X shares. So that tells a story right there that inverted yield curve, and then the uninversion. So is the Fed going to lower interest rates, do an emergency uh, lowering of interest rates, or are we going to wait till September? Plus, we have the election selection coming up here, less than 100 days, and then, of course, the inauguration and the altcoin season is going to transpire uh, Q1 of 2025 every year, so that'll be right during 
the inauguration, so it should be some exciting times in the capital markets, to say the least. So to survive the economic recession, depression, uh, sil physical silver bullion, gold bullion, and Bitcoin. Those are my three, three asset picks for the foundation of, of my survivability of such. So with that, it's John, your prop trader, news reporter on my prop trading desk here. Thanks for watching my videos. Got a lot of new subs. Getting, my channel's getting a lot of traction. And have a super blessed day. Thanks.